Hi everyone, welcome to Aribilam. In this video, we are going to create one carousel effect like this. Before we continue this video, if you are not yet subscribed our channel, please do subscribe. Let's get started. Open a blank presentation. I'm going to hide the title. Go to shape format, selection pan and close this eye. And I don't want this subtitle, so I'm selecting subtitle and deleting this. Okay, now I'm going to insert the images here. For this first, I'm going to reduce the size of the slides. I have already downloaded those pictures, so I'm going to insert them. Go to insert this device. Okay, I want this one. So far, I have selected four images and I'm going to give them equal size for example i'm going to give height as 12 for all the pictures aligning them in center and middle okay keep them in equal distance if you are not able to keep them in a equal distance you can select all the pictures go to picture format go to align menu here we have option called distribute horizontally click this option it will automatically adjust the gap between each objects. I'm keeping the images in the exact middle of the slide. And we have to create one oval shape. I'm keeping it exactly here. Okay. I'm going to remove outline for this. Okay, and I'm going to give white color for the fill color. Go to standard here we have white color All right i'm going to take a copy of this uh, oval again and i'm keeping this here at the bottom and we are going to select all the pictures first and we are going to group them go to picture format and group it or you can use shortcut key ctrl g Okay, I'm going to keep the first image here in the exact center and I'm going to keep the title on the top. So here I'm going to edit the text. Now we are going to duplicate the slide. Press Ctrl D for duplication. Okay, now I'm going to move the second image in the center. I'm going to repeat the same step for other two slides also. Our slides are ready. Now I'm going to select all the slides. Go to transition menu. Select morph animation. Okay, now let's run this slide. Go to slide from beginning that's all for the video thanks for watching